so I change my mind. I'm going to uh, do the coloration of the uh, the table now. It's gonna make it easier for me actually to <laughs> go ahead and make it on the other side. Is the uh, now I'm actually changing the size of this table here of my selection by holding down the shift key. Well, I'll go ahead and grab another table size. There we go. Now the whole thing is contained. So I'm just going to go over here. I can pick. So this is going to change everything. I suppose we could uh, use this and change little portions of it. I want to show you how to do a uh, depth one. So, the whole thing is selected right now. Let's take the fill color and it looks like that. Is what the basic table is filled with. And this is kind of the blue. selection here. And I'm going to hold down the control key and I can select another range. the way they have this in the rubric here. And these are centered. Little details and that's bold. Ah. Okay. And this is bold.
excellent. This area down here is not colored at all. There we go. Excellent. That is the completion of my homework for Unit 6. And now to do the same thing here in LibreOffice. so it all fits onto the uh, onto this page here so I can leave it aside here and now you may be wondering why am I doing this if I've already done this with Microsoft Office, and that is because I want to make sure uh, that there is a free and open source alternative, although that is viable. That is something I am running with as a career path, actually. Standing. some reason when you draw out one single value in open office and you don't have a second value it tries to add one every time it goes out there's probably some uh, basic setting that uh, defaults that off so just use two values and then it knows to add nothing between the two and then you just throw it out and it works quite well made. Oh, we're missing December. Must have December. I don't like the cold, but we have to have those numbers. There we go. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing here.
issue going on here or something, some crazy thing with that dock. My computer is hosing on me and I've got a new motherboard on order. So we'll just do this. Finishing the um, phrase, I type the equals sum, beginning parenthesis, highlight this, and then just hit enter. It closes it off, puts ending parenthesis, and then does the actual. And of course, the, I'm doing this via copy and paste because these are all relative to each other. this always points to this. As I move this down, this first one will be on N5, and of course after I do it once, now this is N6, now it's N7, it's always the one to the left of this because that's what it's supposed to do, but N3 has not changed, N3 has not moved to N4 and then to N5. that this is the actual amount and then this is rounded. Oh, it just changes the zero place, the decimal places. That's not what really happens here. That's the effect that that has. And this, there we go. Very nice. And of course these are centered. 